Guys, you can do something. You know the. turn to when we want to know who wrote a book? Yes. <laughs> and who do we turn to when we want to know who illustrated a book? Yes. Yes. And who do we turn to when we want to know what book to look at to improve our writing? <laughs> and who do we turn to when we want to complain about our husband? <laughs> <laughs> who do we turn to when we want to complain about our children? <laughs> and who always gives a very succinct and pithy piece of advice, such as the advice Jan just gave me a few seconds ago? Brian ought to grow up now, shouldn't he? <laughs> I have no idea what I will do without Jen in my life. Jen has been like a second mom to me. <laughs> my mom left me very early and she, my mom had the same sensibility about life and pick yourself up by the bootstraps and just get over yourself and Jen has Embodied that in every sense of the word. <laughs> and she took care of Brian. Yep. And she's taking care of me. And I want to say that I'll miss her greatly. Here's Jen. Oh, Jen. Oh, Jen. 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 <laughs> 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 just staying quiet in public. Uh, I first met Jan in a critique. Yeah. I think that's right. And. Um, it was a while before I submitted some work and I submitted and the response was, was fantastic as why wouldn't it be? And then <laughs> no, the response was fantastic, not my page was fantastic. But then over, over a period of months it was going on and then one summer uh, we had a break and I'd finished the manuscript, the whole book, and uh, Jan very kindly said that she would read it, she would read the whole thing from Cup to Um and so she did. She didn't respond, and I was a little bit nervous. And I managed to see you at a at a function, and, and I said, "Oh, did you read it?" She said, "Yes." I said, "What did you think?" She said, "I'll speak to you later." So I said, "No, oh, I don't remember what the function was. I didn't remember who was speaking, what they said. Just the fear of what Jan was going to tell me." And it finished. And I came to see you. Do you remember what you said? I, I remember. Um, and, so it's I, it's I, burnt it's, into his soul. Is, uh, <laughs> and uh, Jan said, I read it um, and I understood it. But, and then she said two words that will always ever, for anything that I ever write, will be burned into me. And she just said, So what? <laughs> and it was absolutely the best thing you ever said. And I, I, I uh, appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you really will be missed by uh, by a lot more verbose and articulate people than me. So Jan. Jan, it's I'm going to miss you very much. You've been very supportive in all the time that I've been coming. All these how many years? Just before Rick, actually. Uh, three years. Yeah. But uh, it seems much longer than that because you can't go. That's not true. Um, but you know, you've been so supportive, and we will stay in touch. And that will be very important to me that we stay in touch when you go back to England. And um, you're a great writer as well, and you don't write as much as you should. And that story you wrote about the 
hillbilly girls, as I like to think about it, the really short story. Do you remember the one? It was just rude word. Brilliant. It was just brilliant. So you should write more and worry less. Just write more. That's what I'd say. <laughs> Do a lot of worrying. Okay, <laughs> but I, you should put more out there then. Put, put more yeah, out the, there. The one about the grave, remember that one about the grave, the guy in the grave? Chinese so guy that goes out to the grave. Yeah. Yes. That oh, yeah, yeah, still yeah. sticks with me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, you have to read in for it, the new one, because there's a good creepy one in that. Okay. okay. Um, two years ago, Jen invited me to go to her school to, to run a workshop. I did it the year before and she asked me to do it again. And you did a great job. Yeah, you did a great job. <laughs> I know. And then she invited me to go again, but I said I couldn't because I just ended up in a year long relationship. I said I'm just not in any mood to run a workshop. And she, she wrote me back very with um, perfect understanding but she she wrote you you are stronger than you think and that that line sticks in my mind and then the week after we had a critique group and I asked her I said Jen how do you know I'm stronger than I think and she said all women are <laughs> And I think that, that, just, that is just so Jen. Yes. This is what, what she she is to me, just believing in you and believing especially in in women. So I, I'm very grateful because it's sometimes it's a line like this that really gives me the courage to continue. And you guys were talking about so this is like the thing that the very supportive Jen that kind of pushes me up. But then I remember every time after critique when when she submitted a creepy story, because I live in Lama. I have to do this very home. I need to walk from Yongshuan to my village in the dark, like looking for like like Burmese pythons and and then at the same time worrying about voodoo dolls, graves, all this creepy images that she put in my head with her manuscripts. So that is the, the, the other power that, that the word that Jen has on me. That's the just dark the side. dark side. <laughs> <laughs> so we will suddenly miss you, I will miss you. And then I, I know where she lives in, in yeah. the lake. Oh, I do too. Yes. <laughs> yes. So I I'm going anytime. Well, next time we have to leave that you know, you <laughs> So I had the pleasure of meeting Jan at the critique 10 years ago. And I get an invite to her birthday out in Cycle. Anybody knows me knows that I'm a central girl. And to get out from central to cycle, that is someone super powerful. So there I am writing my hour birthday. Hour birthday. So you're cool. That's what I'm thinking. When we were 60. When? <laughs> I wasn't even going there. But okay. I was on there, I'm on the minibus on a Sunday saying, damn, she must be pretty powerful to get me out from central to cycle on a bloody Sunday. What's Indian food? <laughs> <laughs> it remains true. Jan and Jack both. Phenomenal. Loving. Unbelievably giving. And at the same time, frying pan <laughs> I'm not going to say that I'm not going to find you, because I am. <laughs> you don't have much of a choice about it, baby. You know where we live. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So then there's two of us, Dora. Yes. Right. We're as long as you can drive, I'll bring the search for you along. That's it, Dora. You know, you can't do it. 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 You can't do
Jeff and Jen. The true loves are come chasing after her. been in a group. I started out the Central and moved shortly to the TSD group. And I've lived on Hong Kong Island and Tung Kwan O and I stayed in a TSD. And the biggest reason is because of you, Jen. I so love the group, the people there, and it started with you. And my mother also passed in 2012. And to me, there's so much of you that reminded me of her as well. And when I went through a dark time, it's you that also inspired me to keep on writing, to put myself out into my heart. And I really, really appreciate that. And then Jan, little things she would do, like going on holiday, and she would think of people. She remembered my Hayden series, and she would like pick material and make a beautiful quilt before for my first baby, and then shortly the second one for the hey little little feet and I treasure them so much and every time I take that out for my kids to play on I think of you with love in my heart and this is not a goodbye this is a thank you and our memories and our friendship will carry on and I'm so lucky to live now with the internet and with Skype and with the aeroplanes so that makes the heartache so much number thank you for everything I don't know what to say, Jen. I'm so sad that you're leaving because everyone's talked about what a great person you are, what an inspiration you are, what a great writer you are. I think I think all these things as well. Um, but for me, the most important thing about you is that you're a very great friend to me and um, you've been really supportive of me and all the things that, you know, have happened. And um, I so appreciated you being here and your kindness and your friendship and your humor and <laughs> everything that you've done so thank you so much we will miss you so much please come back and you know visit us and we'll come and see you as well and obviously the internet has made the world a lot smaller so keep in touch <laughs> Um, we've actually got a little something for Jan. Um, um, and um, this is something that we, we weren't sure what we could give to someone like you. So we decided to give you a little bit of our heart. We hope you enjoy it. Um, can I open it? Yes, please do. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guess what it is? <laughs> That's I think it might be a book. It might be a book. A very special book. Can't buy this book anywhere. Um, with the most supportive group ever. It really is. Um, huge amounts of thanks to Mio because you keep it all together. With Kathleen like supporting you as well. Um, but yeah, it's been amazing. 
and uh, I couldn't have done it without you. So, cheers, folks. Cheers. 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 Shots. Wow. <laughs>